first, we need to prepare the tools to install the solar power system. A multimeter, internal hexagonal wrench, spanner, a screwdriver, Uh, first step is install the solar panel racks. You need to find out all the solar panel racks we send to you and then install the solar panel racks and fix them well. After you install the solar panel racks and then you need to fix the solar panels on the solar panel racks. After you install the solar panels on the solar panel racks, then next step will be the uh, connect the cables. You need to check carefully uh, the positive side and negative side of the solar panels. And this is the this is the uh, negative uh, upper port, and this this is the positive upper port. For a 3 kW solar power system with a 60 MPa MPPD charge controller, we will use two pieces solar panels in serious connection. So the first step is you need to connect the uh, solar panels in series. Connect the uh, solar panel positive side and negative side together. Connect them in series. And then next step is use this uh, PV cables. Pos the red one is connect to positive, and the black one is connect to negative. Okay, then the solar panel installation is done. Okay, the next step is to connect the uh, PV cable to our PV combiner. This is our PV combiner. PV combiner, this side is a solar positive input port and this side is solar negative input port. Okay, and this is the uh, PV combiner output port. First, we will connect the uh, uh, red color PV cable from the positive side, connect to the solar input port. See, now the positive one is inside. Then we connect the uh, red cable, connect to this uh, fuse uh, breaker with fuse. These four, four pieces. When you finish the installation of positive side, then connect the uh, negative side with the PV combiner. After you finish the installation, uh, the wire connection with the PV, uh, PV array and PV combiner, you need to use the multimeter and change to, do, to voltage and check the voltage between the uh, positive and negative side. 
as you can see, now the voltage uh, from the PV array is 79.4. 79.4 volt. That means uh, the voltage is normal. That means uh, the wire connection uh, is correct. Okay, after you check the uh, DC voltage, it is normal. Then next step is connect the uh, PV combiner output port. This is the PV combiner uh, uh, DC breaker. Okay, we, need, we will connect the DC cables, output port cables. This is the positive one. This one is the negative one. Okay. Then we connect the positive to break a positive one, to break a positive side. During the wires connection, always remember that uh, you need to double check whether the cable is, is fixed or not. Okay, then next step is also to check the uh, voltage from the uh, DC breaker. Use the multimeter. Okay. Also the same, use the voltage. And turn turn on the switch. See, it is uh, 79. That means the the whole PV combiner wire connection is correct. Okay. Next step is connect the uh, cables uh, with lithium battery bank. This is our lithium battery bank. 25, uh, 20, uh, 260 mAh hour and 51.6 volt. Then we connect the battery cable with the hybrid inverter.
after you uh, uh, finish the connection uh, with battery bank cable and our hybrid inverter, we need to use the multimeter to check the voltage to see whether the battery bank uh, is connecting well or not. Okay, this is a negative side, this is positive side. You see, now our battery bank voltage is about 47 volt. That means the battery bank con connection is correct. After we finish the uh, wire connection with battery bank and hybrid inverter, next step, we will connect our uh, hybrid uh, our PV combiner uh, output cable with the hybrid inverter. Just check carefully with the uh, solar input port. This is our solar input port. Positive. Okay. And this side is negative. Double check whether the cable is fixed well or not. Okay, then done. After you finish the connection with PV combiner and our hybrid inverter, then next step is connect the uh, AC output cable. AC output cable to which to take the loads. Okay, and you need to check carefully because we have two output port here. One is AC input, one is AC input, one is AC output. So you need to uh, connect the cables uh, correctly, okay? And this cable is uh, for AC output. Okay, after you finish, finish the connection of all the cables and then uh, use the multimeter to check all the voltage to make sure all the connection is correct. Next step, we will turn on the hybrid inverter. And then after the hybrid inverter is on, we will check all the data on the uh, screen to make sure all things is correct. Then we will uh, start to take the loads normally. See, now the uh, voltage of the battery bank is about 47. And uh, now this is the uh, output, AC output voltage. AC output voltage is 221 volt. All things is correct. And then we will turn uh, these two is it's okay. Then next step, we will uh, turn on the PV combiner switch. See? Okay. Now we see. We see here. The PV array voltage is 73, 60, 68, 64, 50, 56. Because now uh, the PV, PV solar panels we store inside the office building, there's no sunshine, so the voltage is a little low. See, now it's uh, 64 volt. It is normal, the voltage is normal. So when you see all these three uh, data is normal, then you can start to take the loads. And uh, after uh, you turn on the hybrid inverter and see all the data on the screen is normal, then you can start to use the system to take the loads. This is the uh, AC output. You see? Okay. Now all the uh, uh, the complete set solar power system is uh, connected well.